guys, it's Val. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, today we're going to be opening the BoxyCharm for the month of December. I forgot what month it was. Oops. I wasn't planning on filming today, which is kind of why I'm literally hanging out in my hoodie and my hair's a mess and all that, but I got home from the mall and I saw that I have my boxy charm, so I thought I would go ahead and unbox it with you guys and get it up so everyone can see it right away. So let's just dive right in. If you don't know, boxy charm is a beauty subscription box that is it's either twenty or twenty one dollars a month. I'll link it down below and like a link if you want to sign up yourself. It's pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite subscription boxes. I'm never disappointed. You know, sometimes. Granted, this is more expensive than Ipsy or Birchbox or things like that. It's about double the price. So you are expecting to get more full-size products, which you do. But BoxyCharm always does really well. So I'm excited to see what we have this month. So it always comes in this box just like this. I already cut it because... If you... I forget which... I think it was my Glossy Box unboxing. It took me like five minutes to... Um, like cut open and open the box. So I now do that ahead of time so that I don't waste anyone else's time. So let's just, I don't like to look. <laughs> I like to look the other way and grab things so that I'm not missing out on the surprise. Uh, first thing is just the little card on the back. It tells you all the product information about what you have in the box. So I'm not going to look at that right now because I don't want to know. Uh, but it says glitz and glam. That is the like theme of this month's box. So that's, that's cool. All right, this feels big. What is this? The Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. So that's pretty cool. Let's open this up. Of course, right after I say how trouble, how much trouble I have opening things, this is completely sealed. Don't worry, I have my handy dandy knife for most people you know would have like box cutters, but one thing about me, I collect knives. I love knives. That sounds like really scary and like I'm a serial killer or something, but I just like pocket knives. I don't know why. It's just my thing. All right, so. Okay, it's in another package. Awesome. So, ooh, those are really pretty. They look like the um, baked blushes are domed on top. And I really like how different these shades are. Like, you can really get any look. You have, like, the bright glittery pink, uh, the nice peach, and then, like, a more browny peach that has glitter in it. It depends. Let's see how it actually swatches. I just got home from Ulta, so I have makeup all over me. Imagine that. Okay. Um, you can't even see that. But maybe it's one of those products that you have to, you know, like, get through the first layer Okay, that's a little better. That's actually really nice. And now let's look at the peachy one. I do like the names of everything in here. You can see the peach right there. This is a very like empowering palette and then the brown one over here. So this one is fearless and we have limitless and unstoppable. So those are nice. I'll definitely play around with those. All right, I don't really know the brand Real Her. I don't think I've ever heard of that. But I'll take it, you know, there's a lot of brands that I don't know that once I try are really awesome. So, next thing in our box. Ooh, the uh, full-size Tarte Tartist Mascara. I've had like seven samples of this mascara and it's not my favorite. It's just not my favorite. I've used them, but it doesn't do enough for me, I feel. But I know a lot of people love it and that you get the full size is pretty awesome. I will probably pass this on to someone else that I know will love it. But that's still a really good product to get in here, don't get me wrong. Next we have a brush from Crown Brushes. And Crown Brushes are like my favorite. Um, where's my favorite one? My vanity and desk is a mess. This is like my favorite brush ever uh, from Crown Brushes. I use it for bronzer a lot in like contouring. It's not really what it's for, but I kind of do my own thing with brushes. But anyway, this one is, let's open it up here. I just feel like Crown has really good quality brushes and they aren't super expensive. This feels just like the other one. I'll probably use it in the same way. Actually, 
Are these the same? <laughs> I mean, obviously the colors are different, but the actual brushes themselves are very, very similar. This one's just a little bit more um, tapered and like thin. But I feel like once I use it, it kind of, they're very similar. But like I said, this is my favorite brush ever. So I'm not complaining about having another one, not at all. Next up we have, ooh, this looks pretty. Ooh, this is from Pretty Vulgar and I've never tried anything from this brand, but I've really been wanting to. They have a, um, they have an eyeshadow palette. I forget what it's called, but it's really, really pretty. Super like neutral brownie colors, which is almost all that I wear. So that's really exciting, but that's not what this is. This is, my lips are sealed. Is it like a lip gloss? It looks like pure, like bronzy deliciousness. What? This is the weirdest. Oh, okay. Um, well, it is. There's no way this goes on your lips. I mean, I guess I could. It's it's super, super thick. It almost feels like um, those like glittery eyeshadows that I know like Stila has a bunch of them. So I'm going to pull in the little info card. What did I do with it? What did, I just had it. Hold on. I literally just had this card with all the products on it. Oh, it's right here. Just kidding. Um, I'm trying not to look at the other things. Pretty vulgar. It is a liquid lipstick. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm just really, really boring, but I can pull off bronze lips. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, it has a weird scent. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It almost smells like brownies. That kind of grosses me out, but whatever. If you like that, it's a really pretty color. So one more thing in the box, let's just move on to that and see what we have. Okay, so sorry if I'm all like out of focus and in a completely different like space as I just was. Um, my sister called me and I film on my phone. So I had to take it off of my little light holder contraption answer it and then when I put it back on I don't think I'm like centered like I was so I don't know I just thought I'd let you guys know but anyway there's one more product in our box so it is it feels big again that's from Bella Pierre Cosmetics a pro concealer palette there's like some really good things in this box I've also never used anything from um the brand Bella Pierre but I have heard of it um someone here on YouTube has talked about it I don't remember who but Concealer palettes aren't usually my thing. Oh, it's like correctors. I don't, wow, those are bright. Um, hmm, okay. Well, okay, I, I really like correctors. Usually I do, um, that's so bright. Oh my gosh, it's like the freaking rainbow. Um, I'll use like peach tone correctors for under my eyes, but that's going to be way too dark. Um, this could work for redness definitely. And I don't usually use purple too much because I really don't have like dullness that need to brighten or anything like that. But these just look really bright. Like when I'm saying I use correctors, sorry, I'm looking for, um, my corrector that I've been using recently. And of course it's like MIA, but here's one like the um, Maybelline Master Camos. This, my hand is a freaking mess. Like, I mean, I guess it looks dark. This is like the apricot one, but once you blend it out, it like disappears. Okay, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Let's just, mm, they're so bright. I also don't usually like concealers in this form just because I don't know, I don't ever find myself reaching for them. I mean, it's super creamy, but like, I use apricot peach correctors. This is like an orange, like a cutie or an orange sitting on your fruit bowl. Um, I mean, it 
it seems like good quality and I think if you were a deeper skin skin tone and not a ghost like me this could work I'll definitely try it but I mean I just think it's gonna be too dark for me but let's go ahead and swatch the other one just so you can see what those ones are like. This one is the green. Obviously, you're not colorblind. Well, you may be, but I'm sorry. That was really bad. I shouldn't have said that. Um, okay. So this is the green. You can barely see it with this lighting. But that, I think, is actually going to be perfect. I get a lot of redness right in here. So I'll definitely use that one. And then the purple seems light enough where if I were to need it, I would use it and be able to. Uh, right there. Sorry, this lighting is like not good at all. Um, so yeah, those are nice. Like I said, I don't reach for this form of concealers too often. And I think with something like this sending out in a boxy charm, it's really hard because you have people across the spectrum of skin tone. So it's really hard to send out a universal product that will cater to everyone's needs and their skin tones and what looks best on them. So this is probably a really good product. The quality is definitely there. It's creamy. It blends out. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying for me personally that orange is a little like punchy in the face. But when you're sending it out to, I don't know, probably thousands, right? Yeah, probably thousands of people get BoxyCharm. You're not going to have one specific shade range palette that works for everyone. So... Okay, getting off my soapbox. Um, that's all that was in the box this month. I'm actually pretty excited. I'm really excited about that, um, the first palette, the blush palette. Like I said, this mascara is just not for me. But I, a lot of people like it, and it's, to get a full size is actually quite rare. I feel like we always get sample sizes of mascaras, like, across the board in any subscription box. So that's pretty cool. You get a full one and um, Tarte's a pretty great brand. So that's good. Like I said, the concealer palette, corrector palette, it should be called a corrector palette. Um, I'm going to have to play around with, see how I like it. And then this, I'm excited to have something from Pretty Vulgar, but I can't wear this. <laughs> like, I'm not a very bold person and deep bronzed glittery lips they're just not my thing so it is pretty cool I'm excited to try other things from this brand um maybe BoxyCharm will send like an eyeshadow or a liquid lipstick that is like a human color but you know what are you gonna do uh, I definitely think we got our $20 worth because I know for a fact that mascara is right around that price I'm not sure about the palette prices. I'm an idiot. Hold on. That card that I was talking about literally tells you all of the products and their prices. So, the blush kit, the blush palette is $32. So, that's a little pricey. That's a little pricey. Coming from a brand that I don't personally know, Real Her... I don't know them. The Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette is $30. Hmm. And the Pretty Vulgar Liquid Lipstick is $24, which is quite pricey because when I spend $20 on a liquid lipstick, I feel like that's a lot. I know that the like Bare Mineral ones are $18 to $20. The Anastasia ones are right around, I think they're $21. And the steel, I'm pretty sure, 20 or 21 too. And this is 24, so that's even more than that. The formula might be good. I'll try out the formula probably like in my room when no one can see me with my bronzy, brownie looking lips. But um, that's quite expensive. Um, the Tarte Lash Paint Mascara is $23, which I, I knew was right around 20. And then the crown brush is $12, which crown brushes are really affordable, but still, adding all that together, I'm not very good at math, 
But that's a lot more than we're paying for the box, considering the brush is the only thing under $20. So everything else alone is more than you pay for the box. So you definitely get your money's worth. It's just whether or not the products suit you and you're going to get enough use out of them. You know what I mean? So like I said, I do love BoxyCharm. This isn't one of my favorite months, but I'm not upset about it. I'm glad to have these things, try them out, kind of get familiar with some new brands. So that is all we have for today. I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can hang out with me in the future. Bye guys.